Hello friends, this is Lisa. I'd like to introduce you to my brand new bag. This is the Aloha from Bagaloon.com. I have it seated on top of my Zuka Pro case. I got that off of eBay for about half the retail price. The Zuka, which is this case down here, goes fantastic with the Aloha. If I was traveling, I would have my Aloha bag inside the Zuka. And because of these inset wheels that the Pro has, it'll fit in my overhead compartment on an airplane. Uh, for my day-to-day -day gigs, though, I'm going to go ahead and keep the case just the way it is. I've got some great branding going on with the embroidery. And the balloons are put away because the case is all packed up. When I'm ready to work, though, just lift this off and bam, ready to go. This is the smaller of the two Aloha bags. I want to make it very clear that I do have it way overpacked. There's about 2,000 twisting balloons in there. I went ahead and purchased every Q pack that Qualitex made except for the uh, neons. I just have a small assortment here. So, this is actually every color Qualitex makes in the Q pack without the neons here. And then a couple. I've got some uh, Pearl Azure in there, some Ivory. And uh, so, that's these two rolls. This roll is mostly 160s. I've got a couple 350s that I use a lot of in there. And of course, my Vitalitex. Uh, polka dots. Um, this here is a roll-up that consists of three assortment packs. This is a full pack of Carnival, a full pack of Vibrant, and a full pack of Character 350s all in one roll-up. So there's 300 balloons here. Here I've got an assortment of 646s and uh, could have more of those, but got to leave room for my awesome sauce. Thank you so much, Nate the Great, for this idea. Kids love my rattlesnakes and my rattles rattling. So keep that in there. Lots of extra room for balloons. As you can see, I didn't put any here in the corners and the sides. There's more room. Uh, I've got room for, I think, one more fat chisel tip type marker right here. Otherwise, I have my 14 rainbow Sharpies, my white marker here. And I'm sure most of you have seen this already. This is fantastic. I used it all weekend long. This is where I keep my black Sharpie now. Whenever I'm uh, twisting, I just sit it in there, and I can use it again and again. And then when I'm ready to go, I just snap it in, and I'll put it inside this elastic loop, so that way it helps hold it in place. My other elastic loop here I use um, for my headbands. I take the headbands out and put them right here. I will tell you guys that I had just all my hearts and rounds were just rotting in my bag. Very rarely did I use them. When I took these headbands, put them in the loop, and I had all of my rounds and hearts and quicklings displayed right here in the front, suddenly everybody wanted headbands all weekend long. It was fantastic. Um, I want to say thank you to Rose again publicly. <laughs> uh, it was her idea to do the Roy G. Biv. She had it in, I think, a couple pockets on one of her older setups, and um, we've taken it to a whole new level with the Aloha here. And I've uh, got mostly just rainbow in the front, got some monochromatic and clears on the side, and uh, more monochromatic going on with some uh, commonly used prints. I keep my eyeballs right here. That sounded weird. <laughs> I've got uh, all kinds of prints back here. You guys probably tell what those are. This is where I keep my business cards. I like to stand with my um, cart on my left hand side so it makes it easy for them to grab and oh balloon straws these are the smaller the shorter balloon straws they're not the really long ones fit in there perfect oh this branding fantastic got my Lisa McTwister going on and whenever I'm working for an agent I just take this oh this is the lid by the way <laughs> and I roll it in the opposite direction and now it's black and so my agent keeps just happy and uh, even with the cart, this whole bag, full as it is, that will unroll and zip, no problem. Uh, down in the Zuka, I have my square reader in here. And in here I have this huge flat pocket that's fantastic for all my tool cir circles. I just used to have a couple of these smashed into a little pocket, all wrinkled. And now they're nice and flat, so they really pop whenever I use them. I don't have anything in the other side, but in here is where I keep my spare pump, 
You guys can see I've got my Legenda, my instand. This is the instand tripod right here. Here's the tabletop. It's kind of hard to see. I know it's dark in there. I have a tablecloth for my instand. And I got a couple pop-ups here. Don't really use those during a gig, but I got them in case I need them. And uh, when I roll into a gig, I just open this up, set up my Legenda, then I take off the cover, put it inside, and close up. Then whenever I'm ready to leave, first thing I do is take the cover out, put it on my bag, then unpack my Legenda, and, um, well, I should say pack up my Legenda and table and put it in there. This bag is actually holding more balloons than I carried around on my navigator. I used to just have one pocket of assortment for the rounds, the hearts, and the quick links. And now I've got the whole Roy G. Biv order going on on the front. So I'm really happy with how much it holds. Again, it is too full to put in the Zuka. I tried. It just sat on top and laughed at me. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I would have enough room. So I went ahead and purchased the larger navigator size. Now, as much as I'm going to miss that awesome embroidery, if you want any custom embroidery, again, go to ronbagaloon.com. It's awesome. Uh, this bag, I'm not going to miss carrying around this heavy bag. Uh, all of the balloons that are inside here, including the awesome sauce, fit in here with about that much space left over. I had room for about two more roll-ups. So if you need more room than this bag will allow, you can go ahead and get this. And this bag, you don't need a navigator for it. It will fit on top of a Zuka frame, okay? It will fit there, and it's nice and stable. I was really surprised as to how stable it was. It fits on top of the Zuka frame. The navigator size bag fits on top of a Zuka. It's just you're not going to be able to fit it inside the Zuka case without taking out a lot of your um, twisting balloons. So you can kind of compress the bag a little bit. It's too big. But it, as you can see, it just drops right inside of a navigator. So you guys have got some options. I hope you like this video. It's my first one. <laughs> and uh, if y'all have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to keep up with you. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. Spent a lot of sleepless nights working on this with Ron while he was in Nepal. And uh, he went ahead and let me name it. I chose Aloha in keeping with the Namaste collection. Aloha means hello. And it also means love. And I knew I was going to love this bag. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Hawaii is really special to me. I've lived there a couple times where I'm at my husband. My kids have Hawaiian middle names. And uh, it's very fitting, I think, for this particular bag. Uh, especially with all the rainbows going on in the front. <laughs> so, there it is, guys. The Aloha and the Aloha XL. Or, if you're going to go ahead and order them, make sure that you put in a deposit for the summer production. This is Aloha with a Z at the end, and this one is Aloha with an N at the end. So, we can size for the Zuka or the Navigator, okay? And if you like that embroidery... You want to make sure that you put in your order ahead of time, okay? It shows whenever you're working and when the bag is closed. We've got one on the outside, too. All right? And as you know, that bag looked really great with the cart cover. So that is one of my favorite parts about this is that I just slide this over top. Better than that. <laughs> And I am done for the day. So enjoy, guys. See you soon.